The age of oxygen, 359 to 299 million years ago. As plants became firmly established on land, life once again had a major effect on Earth's atmosphere during the Carboniferous period. The name Carboniferous is Latin for coal bearing, which is appropriate given that most of the world's coal reserves were formed during this time. If you were to be transported back to the Carboniferous, your alarm clock and calendar wouldn't be much use. 350 million years ago, the day was only 22.4 hours long, and there were approximately 385 days in a year. The Earth's faster rotation combined with its thicker atmosphere made winds stronger than they are today. Oxygen made up 20% of the atmosphere, about today's level, around 350 million years ago, and it rose to as much as 35% over the next 50 million years. Lightning was far more damaging back then. The high oxygen levels would have set many forests on fire. Plants included mosses, giant club mosses, tree ferns, giant horsetails, and towering trees with strap-shaped leaves. These were some of the earliest forest environments. It is believed that so much carbon dioxide in the atmosphere was absorbed by the many plants that oxygen accumulated in the atmosphere as a result. This made the terrestrial environment better for oxygen breathers like insects. Dragonflies had wingspans of up to 60 centimeters. Two meter long millipedes and other arthropods thrived on the organic matter that littered the lush forest floor. Amphibians were the first backboned animals with limbs designed for use on land. Like their descendants, frogs and newts, early amphibians had to lay shellless eggs in water to prevent them from drying up. The eggs hatched into tadpoles which breathed through gills that usually shrank. Some adults grew as big as a crocodile. The earliest known reptiles evolved at this time. These reptiles were small lizard-like animals that lived in forested habitats. In the Carboniferous seas, sharks and bony fish took over from the jawless and armored fish. Reefs hosted starfish, gastropods, sea urchins, and other marine invertebrates. The Tully monster was a mysterious fish-like animal that swam in the inland oceans of Illinois. The Tully monster used its long, toothy protrusion from the front of its body to grab food and then rip bites off using a long, powerful tongue.